I'm your host, Jay, and welcome to a brand new episode of the Hype Club Podcast. Hello and good day to everyone, except Shakira. I'm kidding. <laughs> I do like Shakira, but girl, stay tuned to know why her hips may be in trouble. How are you all? Summer is almost over and it's back to school for some on this first day of August. I really hope you've been taking advantage of your summer 2022 and living your best life while, of course, listening to the Hype Club podcast. Want to support us in other ways? You can shop the Hype Club Podcast merch by simply going on the Hype Club Podcast Instagram, click the link in the bio, and you'll be redirected to our Tee Public Store page, or simply hit the link in this episode description. Now, let's get this show started with the latest entertainment news. But first, to have one of your talents, artists, or celebrities on the Hype Club Podcast, please send us an email at thehypeclubpodpr at gmail.com for advertisement, sponsorship, or to have us promote your brand and review your products in one of the Hype Club podcast episodes or on our website, listen up. Want to advertise, sponsor, or you would like to be a guest on the Hype Club podcast? Send us an email at thehypeclubpodcast at gmail.com or go to our website at thehypeclubpodcast.com. To keep up with all the episodes, subscribe and listen on Apple Podcast or on all platforms where podcasts are available. The Hype Club Podcast is your one-stop destination for trending world and celebrity news. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. Also, make sure to follow the Hype Club Podcast on all social media platforms on Instagram and Facebook at the Hype Club Podcast and Twitter at the Hype Club Pod. Now, grab some purple lace, rolling papers, and light this bitch up. Let's go! This one is for all the Bravo Holics. Let's start with some Bravo Liberties news. It seems to me that Andy Cohen and the Bravo Network are scrambling to save the Real Housewives of Orange County because it was announced that Tamara Judge and Taylor Armstrong, which was a former Housewives of Beverly Hills, will be joining season 17 of the Real Housewives of Orange County. And that will make Taylor the first housewife to switch franchise. I can maybe understand the decision of uh, to bring Tamara, Judge, but Taylor? I mean, I've seen the latest Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip, and I just don't get it. Taylor is so boring, and she doesn't have nothing to bring to the table. So, my question to Andy Cohen is, Where's Vicky Gonvalson? Where's the let's whoop it up girl? If you're going to ask anyone back, it should be the OG of the OC. Can someone please check on Vicky right now? We have to make sure that she still has a pulse after this news. And since Bravo and Andy wants to bring back former housewives, Where's Miss Fedra Parks, one of the most iconic queens of shade? Bring back Phaedra now, okay? That would bring up the ratings for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Matter of fact, bring back Phaedra, Nini, and Portia, and get rid of Candy and all her little friends. And of course, Kenya can stay for now because... Atlanta is not what it used to be. You're listening to the Hype Club Podcast. Get the latest entertainment news by subscribing to all our social media platforms. The Hype Club Podcast is your one-stop destination for trending world and celebrity news. Tune in each week to stay updated with all the latest news and headlines from the world of entertainment. It's time for the Hype Club Podcast Flash News of this week. Five quick headlines worth mentioning. Let's go! Okay, so today, instead of five, we have 
10 <laughs> quick headlines, so let's get to it. Justin Bieber will resume his Justice World Tour on July 31st after being diagnosed with Ramsey Hunt disease earlier last month, which forced him to postpone several North American dates. The Justice Tour, which had 75 scheduled dates, will continue in Italy with a performance at the Luca Summer Festival. He will then have five more dates in Europe before heading to South America in September. The tour will also have stops in South Africa, the Middle East, Asia, Australia, and New Zealand before heading back to Europe in December. So glad to hear about Bieber getting better. Okay, remember the woman that Tristan Thompson was... Um, photograph with and Greece well that mystery woman is we found her name her name is Ines a French influencer living and working in Dubai she's a regular and well-known clubs in Dubai where there's let's say wealthy men if you know what I mean she's been in Mykonos with a few of her friends since a couple of weeks now, and obviously, she found her opportunity with Tristan Thompson. Well, 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 it seems things have turned in the right direction for Ricky Martin. A judge dismissed the temporary restraining order against the singer after Ricky's nephew asked to have the case dismissed. Just as we had anticipated, the temporary protection order was not extended by the court. The accuser confirmed to the court that his decision to dismiss the matter was his alone without any outside influence or pressure. And the accuser confirmed he was satisfied with his legal representation in the matter. The statement read, The request came from the accuser asking to dismiss the case. Do you think his nephew was lying or the check was cleared? Amber Heard officially filed documents to appeal the $10.35 million judgment she was ordered to pay ex-husband Johnny Depp and the now infamous defamation case. We believe the court made errors that prevented a just and fair verdict consistent with the First Amendment. We are therefore appealing the verdict, a spokesperson for Heard said in a statement. While we realize today's filing will ignite the Twitter bonfires, there are steps we need to take to ensure both fairness and justice. Do you think Heard will be heard this time? Ken Jennings and Mayim Bialik will remain the permanent host of Jeopardy ahead of its 39th season, which begins taping in early August and returns in September. Ken Jennings will host episodes that air through December along with November's Tournament of Champions, while Mayim Bialik will host other tournaments in a new Celebrity Jeopardy series that will air Sundays on ABC this fall. Drake's fans are out of luck. The Canadian rapper announced that his concert in Toronto is postponed after testing positive for COVID. The annual three-day Ovo Fest music festival was supposed to be a reunion of artists on the Young Money record label, including Lil Wayne and Nicki Minaj. Congrats are in order. Jersey Shore's Mike Sorrentino and wife Lauren Sorrentino announced via their Instagram page they're expecting baby number two. The reality stars are already parents to 14-month-old son Romeo Rain, who's just so adorable. Once again, congrats. Actress Nichelle Nichols has passed away. She was 89 years old. Miss Nichols was best known for her iconic, groundbreaking role of Officer Lieutenant Yu Hura on the original Star Trek television series. After the Wall Street Journal reported that Vince McMahon allegedly paid more than $12 million to four women to cover up allegations of sexual misconduct and infidelity, McMahon announced that he's retiring as WWE's chairman and CEO. He released the following statement. As I approach 77 years old, I feel it's time for me to retire as chairman and CEO of WWE.
Throughout the years, it's been a privilege to help WWE bring you joy, inspire you, thrill you, surprise you, and always entertain you. Do you think he was forced to take an early retirement or it was already planned? Shakira, Shakira, Shakira. Could your hips be lying? The Colombian singer could face eight long years and the slammer if found guilty of alleged tax fraud. Shakira is accused of defrauding the Spanish treasury out of a fortune over a three-year period from 2012 to 2014. A representative for Shakira said in a statement, Our client has always cooperated and abided by the law, demonstrating impeccable conduct as an individual and a taxpayer, and faithfully following the counsel of Price Waterhouse Coopers, a prestigious and globally recognized tax firm. Prosecutors won the maximum sentence over six separate counts of tax fraud totaling $15 million. Allegedly, Shakira claims she's already paid an estimated $3 million plus interest to the Spanish taxman. Will our beloved Shakira do jail time? Well, we'll definitely keep you posted. Thank you all for listening to another episode of the Hype Club Podcast. Tune in next week for the latest world and entertainment news. Until then, have a blessed and great week. Ciao! All stories depicted or mentioned in this episode are allegedly for entertainment purposely only.